I am the voice of Proverbs 10 22 if you want to have Proverbs 10 22 manifested in your life and it bringing itself to pass someone has to give voice to it the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Emstrop thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us poverty is a curse not having your needs met is no way to live but some people live that way their whole life not having enough that's no way to live in fact it's contrary to scripture but my god shall supply all your needs that's the opposite of not having your needs supplied scripture says your needs should be supplied well, poverty is a curse when poverty's on you you can't think straight it's binding you to lack it's making you a slave that's not the you that god has designed for you to be or created you to be he's created you to be rich we're gonna get that curse of poverty off of you tonight he that has ears to hear let him hear hearing is the way in listen hearing is the way in and if you can hear it you can have it say if I can hear it I can have it this is literally the tip of the iceberg what you can have and that which is coming to you and we're gonna get poverty off of you tonight poverty is not a blessing from God poverty is literally a Bible curse Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 47 because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things what's another word for want of all things is poverty that's in the curse of the law it's a curse you shall be in want do you remember uh psalms chapter 23 verse 1 the 23rd psalm the lord is my shepherd i shall not want here in the curse it says you will be in want of all things that's poverty but it says the lord is my shepherd i shall not want one's a blessing one's a curse psalms chapter 34 and they that fear the lord shall not want any good thing that sounds like abundance that sounds like a blessing poverty is a curse being in want of all things in deuteronomy chapter 28 is a curse verse 46 talking about the curse and they shall be upon thee and upon thy seed forever it says the curse will be upon you we're going to be talking about the blessing being on you and the curse being on you one or the other if the curse is on you you shall be in want that's poverty are you getting this galatians chapter 3 verse 13 christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law we just read the curse of the law it says you'd be cursed and you'd be in want of all things that's poverty christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law so he redeemed us from poverty say christ redeemed me from poverty 
verse 14 that the blessing say the blessing of abraham might come on the gentiles through christ jesus so christ redeemed us or took off the curse of the law took off poverty and that the blessing would come on the blessing of abraham well what do we know about the blessing of abraham god blessed abraham and made him rich the bible says very rich in genesis chapter 13 2. so the blessing does something to you now you can understand that right if the curse is on someone it does something to them it makes them poor and keeps them in poverty if the blessing is on you it does something to you it makes you something here we saw that it made abraham rich so jesus redeemed us from the curse took the curse off so that the blessing would come on say the curse is taken off and the blessing has come on are you blessed or are you cursed say i'm blessed so the blessing does something to you genesis 13 2 says it made abraham very rich say very rich you know and it's the same blessing that comes on you what should it make you rich it should make you very rich say the blessing on me should make me very rich proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 the blessing of the lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it when the blessing is on you it makes rich the blessing of the lord it maketh rich what maketh rich it's the blessing that makes now here we see the standard of rich if i'm blessed i'm the standard of rich because the blessing of the lord makes you rich it's not money that makes you rich according to the bible standard what makes you rich the blessing not bill gates not warren buffett not howard hughes some people are like who's howard hughes not andrew carnegie but they may have a lot of money but it doesn't make them rich what makes rich the blessing of the lord it makes rich did it say that 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 the the money of the world it makes rich no it says the blessing of the lord it makes rich say the blessing makes now if you have the blessing you have the standard of rich and it will make you something it will make you rich but just because you see someone and it looks like they have a lot of money do you see the blessing on them that's what makes them rich or not rich does this make sense if you can see the blessing on them then they're a rich person if you can't see the blessing on them then they're not rich it doesn't matter how much money they have they could just disappear overnight learn to see it learn to see the blessing learn to recognize the blessing it makes you it's what you're designed to be is blessed say i'm blessed now let's look at joseph he's a good example here genesis chapter 39 let's read verse 1 and joseph was brought down to egypt remember he was sold as a slave that doesn't sound good and potiphar an officer of pharaoh captain of the guard an egyptian bought him of the hands of the ishmaelites doesn't sound good does it sound like he's a prosperous man does it sound like he's rich verse 2 and the lord was with joseph and he was a prosperous man and he was in the house of his master the egyptian here the bible is calling joseph a prosperous man 
and yet we see him still being a slave well which is true is he prosperous or is he a slave according to the word he's prosperous because he's blessed we'll see what happened genesis chapter 41 39 and pharaoh said unto joseph for as much as god has showed thee all this there is none so discreet and wise as thou art verse 40 thou shalt be over my house and according unto thy words shall all my people be ruled only in the throne will i be greater than thou verse 41 pharaoh said unto joseph see i have set thee over all the land of egypt so joseph went from being a slave to being over all say over all the land of egypt how did he get there by the blessing of the lord that was on him so let's read proverbs chapter 10 again verse 22 the blessing of the lord it maketh so really it was just a matter of time for joseph even though he was thrown in a pit and he got sold into egypt because the blessing was on him the blessing made him rich and it made him over all the land of egypt it's the blessing that makes now what is a blessing a blessing is saying words over we know that if somebody blesses somebody bless you you're saying words the blessing is saying words so a blessing is a saying a blessing of the Lord is a saying of the Lord is Proverbs chapter 10 22 a saying of the Lord the blessing of the Lord makes rich he adds no sorrow with it yes the saying of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow with it read it that way it says the blessing of the Lord makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it the saying the speaking forth of the Lord it makes rich well we know that this Bible doesn't speak by itself we have to speak it forth right and speaking in agreement with God is the blessing is the saying of the Lord and it makes you something here it says the blessing of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow with it I say no to sorrow no sorrow I say no sorrow sorrow would be the curse wouldn't it I say no curse no no I say no sorrow and I say yes to the blessing I say made rich when I say I'm made rich I'm in agreement with the saying and the blessing of the Lord and when I say no to the curse I'm in agreement with the blessing and saying of the Lord does this make sense second Peter chapter 1 verse 19 we have a more sure word of prophecy whereunto you do well what is doing well that would be being blessed I do well if I take heed as unto a light that shines in a dark place until say until until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts so how long are we supposed to take heed unto this word and continue to speak this word until it rises up and takes over now I've said this many many times there's power in every word of God to bring itself to pass but you must say it it's not going to come to pass in your life until you learn how to say it and call it that way the blessing the saying makes the word said makes now go to Isaiah Isaiah chapter 55 well let's look at verse 10 for as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and returns not thither but waters the earth 
and what makes it say makes it now remember the blessing of the Lord it makes something it does something and it makes something and we know the blessing is a saying right or as the rain comes down in the snow from heaven and returns not thither but waters the earth and makes it bring forth and bud verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth what's it gonna do it's gonna make it bring forth what does the making it the word so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth what is what does that mean that shall go forth out of my mouth that's a fancy way of saying my word spoken words that go forth out of your mouth means words spoken God's words spoken makes it bring forth and bud say God's word spoken makes it bring forth what is going to be brought forth but the word that was spoken so if you're speaking the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it what's going to be made to bring forth and bud in your life the blessing of the Lord making you rich and adding no sorrow with it and this is all of no respecter of persons it works for everyone it really doesn't care who you are it cares that you spoke those words it makes you rich it what the word spoken makes verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish what's the it that shall accomplish the word spoken out the word spoken out it shall accomplish the blessing of the Lord which is a spoken word it maketh it shall accomplish that which I please and it the word spoken shall prosper what's going to do the prospering the word spoken what's going to do the accomplishing the word spoken well it seems like if we don't get that word spoken it can't accomplish the blessing the saying forth of the Lord it makes rich and adds no sorrow with it are you starting to see this I believe you are no respect of persons no respect of situation no respect of circumstances irrespective of situations irrespective of circumstances it makes rich it well I am the voice of Proverbs 10 22 I am the voice of Proverbs 10 22 say that I am the voice of Proverbs 10 22 if you want to have Proverbs 10 22 manifested in your life and it bringing itself to pass someone has to give voice to it those words that are spoken forth out of your mouth start saying the blessing of the Lord it makes rich now it will accomplish that it will prosper you in the thing whereunto you sent it how's it going to do it it makes it come to pass it makes you rich now Psalms 103 I wasn't going to include this for time's sake in this message but I'm going to include it now it has to do with the angels Psalms 103 verse 20 bless the Lord you his angels say angels that excel in strength that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of God's Word well I am the voice of God's Word I am the voice of Proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it 
when you give voice to God's Word the angels hearken under the voice of God's Word the angels excel in strength hearkening unto the voice of God's Word who is the voice of God's Word you is the voice of God's Word well like I said I wasn't going to include that for time's sake but they're excited about it the angels are excited about it there's so little talk about the angels but they do so much maybe they don't do so much for you because you're not giving voice to God's Word so they have nothing to excel in strength over but I'm giving you a gift tonight this Word of God in your mouth what can't it do what can't the Word of God in your mouth do would you like to have in your life the blessing of the Lord making you rich and adding no sorrow with it would you like that or how about the Living God giving you richly all things to enjoy you have to learn how to say it you have to learn how to wear it learn how to put it on and then you have to learn how to let it change you as you put it on says the Spirit of the Lord it will begin to reorder your life it will begin to change you into itself and you shall become chapter and verse you shall begin to wear the clothes that I've designed you to wear and live in the places I've called you to live it will change your thinking it will change you I hope you're seeing this you become different you think different back when we were talking about poverty and, and and poverty being a curse when that curse is on you and poverty is on you you don't think right you can't think straight when the blessing is on you you think differently you think better one of the things Pharaoh said about Joseph he said there's nobody in the kingdom that thinks like you do why is that the blessing was causing him to be rich the blessing that was on him was causing him to think differently say you think differently and until you get here you're not thinking right remember we said you you have to keep that word in your mouth until the day dawns in your heart you keep the word of God on your lips until it dawns on you well I don't know what to do I don't know how to think about that keep the word on your lips keep the word on your lips the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it Oh, I still don't know what to do I still don't know how to think about that situation ah the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it eventually it begins to dawn on you and you think the right way the real way the way you're supposed to be learn to get in and think from this place Proverbs 23 7 says as a man thinks in his heart so is he this is the real you the real you is blessed the real you is a rich person you think differently and when you think differently you believe differently and then you act differently the blessing of the Lord makes you something you weren't before makes you rich say makes me rich that means the way you think is rich the way you act is rich it makes you I think like a rich person I act like a rich person I look like a rich person I smell like a rich person you talk like a rich person I invest like a rich person I do business like a rich person the blessing is making you it's just the tip of the iceberg where this will take you and my angels are involved in my business 
i own this i live this i do this the blessing is on me and it makes me something i wasn't before how did you get there you kept at it until say until until you think differently act differently i give big rich people give big i give big the blessing of the lord is on me say the blessing of the lord is on me and that blessing will make you something something happens to you i'm telling you when you sit there and it might look like the, there's situations and things that used to bother you when the blessing is on you you think about it differently you have a different attitude you have an attitude yes i have an attitude proverbs chapter 18 verse 23 the poor uses entreaties but the rich answereth roughly the poor uses which are you are you poor or are you rich are you cursed or are you blessed with the blessing comes rich say i'm blessed and i'm made rich the poor uses entreaties but the rich answers roughly and if you look up this roughly it means fierce it means insolent not showing respect for men or circumstances so something happens to you when the blessing of the lord comes on you and makes you rich you think differently about things you sort of become in indifferent and insolent to uh, situations and circumstances they don't bother you anymore you've become above them you're over the situation you're over the devil you're over the circumstance you become indifferent and those things don't bother you you're given a confidence that supersedes any situation or circumstance where does that come from it comes from the blessing of the lord causing you to think and act differently thinking correctly say thinking correctly because you weren't before you look beyond your present circumstance indifferent carefree rich above it you see i am rich say so you see i am rich first timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high minded nor trust in uncertain riches but you can be high-minded and trust in certain riches are you here be high-minded and trust in the living god who gives us richly all things to enjoy we're above it we're beyond it glory be to god so what's on you the blessing say the blessing is on me you go oh, oh what what's that on you oh that's the blessing and you keep playing around in it you ever have kids and you tell them all oh, you keep playing around that you get it all over you yeah we're gonna keep playing around in this blessing and speaking these blessed words until it gets all over us because that blessing is what makes us rich and adds no sorrow to it and the angels begin hearkening and doing their wonderful work let me pray for you holy ghost to thank you that these people are getting the blessing on them and the curse has been removed says the spirit of the lord and the blessing shall be great in this last day and my people shall rise up and be strong in the earth these great things are just beginning to take place just like the tip of an iceberg those things are coming on you and shall be moving in your direction we worship you holy ghost we thank you for it in jesus name amen well i've learned that the blessing that's on someone else can come on me and i've learned that the blessing that's on me can come on other people and i make it a priority to have this blessing on me strong 
that it can come on that same blessing on all of my partners well if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that the blessing is on me and right now it's making me rich it's going out and doing things for me things that I couldn't do before and the angels are actively in the process of bringing wealth and riches to me in Jesus name I thank you for it in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost